In this video, we will learn how to calculate discounts and composite functions. I'm Abby with NextGen Personal Finance, and we will practice calculating coupons and discounts while shopping. We will be practicing creating composite functions for this activity, which you can think of as just a function within a function. Function composition is when you apply the output from one function and use that result as the input for another new function. Let's try this example. You are shopping for a bicycle and you bring a coupon for $35 off. And to your surprise, the store is running a 15% discount for the weekend. In addition, the store will honor the coupon and the discount. The price of the bike will be represented by the variable X, which in this case is worth $200 at this store. We are asked to calculate the final sale price by following these four steps. Since x is equal to the original price of the bike and the function c of x represents the price only using your coupon, what would the function notation be? That's right. Since x is our original price, we can say that c of x is equal to x minus $35. Now separately, if the function d of x represents the price only applying the store discount, how would you write that in function notation? You could use a couple different forms here. If we get a discount of 15% off, that means the bike will only be 85% of the original price, which is X. So we can say that D of X equals 0.85 times X. Alternatively, you could also take the original price X and subtract 15% of the original or 0.15 times X. Feel free to use either function, but for this video, we will go with the most efficient, shorter first one. Now that we have set up our two functions for our coupon and discount prices, we can now apply both of the sales by creating a composite function, C of D of X. According to this scenario, which is applied first, the coupon or the discount? Exactly. Because the D of X is inside the C of X, we will have to first apply the discount function D of X before applying the coupon function C of X. In other words, C of D of X means that whatever output I get from D of X will be the input for C of X. So let's see what this looks like. There are a couple of ways to do this, but I will show you the direct substitution method in this video. You can watch our rule of 110 video to try the other method. For the direct substitution method, let's combine the two functions. For this example, this means that C of D of X equals 0.85X minus 35. So let's plug in the $200 for X and calculate using the order of operations. 0.85 times 200 equals 170. Then we can subtract $35 from 170, which gives us the final sale price of $135. Now you try. Go ahead and switch the order and create a composite function for D of C of X that applies the coupon first, then the store discount. Then solve for X equals 200 and compare the results with the previous example. So why is this important? Consider which option is best for the seller versus the buyer, applying the coupon first, then the discount, or vice versa. Let's review how to use function composition. You will want to set up your two functions appropriately with the inputs and outputs. Then you can combine the two functions to create a composite function. Be careful which function is applied first, then the second. Lastly, you can substitute your input into the function and evaluate using order of operations. Continue on to the practice problems in your worksheet. You got it!